The day has almost reached its logical conclusion. No, it hasn't, I thought. The day has. We're now about to enter the evening. Oh. We're just back at the backpackers. The uh, house warden is doing the ironing for me. Oh, do you know what? Yeah. Uh, my camp bed. Camp David. Hello, Camp David. <laughs> Whoa, hello, Alan. <laughs> Campers in camping bed, not all oh, camp bed. Uh, got some wacko jack on the TV. Loving the swivel chair this uh, hostel has to offer. How's the ironing? You sit there, won't you, dear? I will. I'll buzz if I need anything. <laughs> Do you? Yes. Oh. Just having some uh, water, because that's all, all us backpackers drink bottled water. It's a real treat, actually. Oh, oh. we should just be quiet. Yeah. Oh. It's gone all cloudy. Oh, this is black or white. Uh, this was the 1996 history tour in Auckland. Who knew Michael Jackson went to Auckland? I wonder what visa he entered the country on. <laughs> Right, well that concludes a very long day of travel. I'm absolutely knackered. I am off to bed. <laughs> 5 a.m. Sydney time. This will be my last run in Australia, flying in about three hours. And it feels very early. Last run complete, that was a solid 10 miles. Running towards Kingsford, near Kingsford Smith Airport. Not the most scenic run, but it was a run nonetheless. Um, now I am ready for 12 hours of drinking, 12 hours of flying. Uh, the time is 6.42, it's still very humid outside. On my way out of the Hilton Sydney backpacking guest house. How are you? He's not coming, he is uh, carrying the secondary backpacking snail pack. I have my big bag on. Are you emotional? No. <laughs> Gap here has officially begun. Just say goodbye to David at the train station. Um, was going to get an Uber, but all the Uber seems to be far away. So, walking down to platform two to get my train to the international airport bit of a drama at the hotel just now i've lost my wallet and i don't think they have contact lists in the places i'm going so paying with watch isn't an option so hoping i do somewhere in my snail pack just got to the airport going up the escalator Bag is now checked in, there is no turning back. Um, I think I did get a few funny looks going straight to the first class check-in desk with a backpack. Um, I believe there is a Qantas hostel here that I shall, um, I shall visit once I have gone to the tax refund centre to claim some tax back on some new swag I bought. Since I'm not coming back to Australia, it seems like a good opportunity to, to get some money back. All checked in and ready to fly um, at the uh, Backpackers Retreat uh, in the Qantas uh, Archer Terminal. Just, just having some uh, fizzy water to Making some plans for tomorrow as I have a free day before the trek begins. I am off to see the orangutans, very excited. Um, I, I don't really know what to expect and I really have left it to the last moment. Yes, they got quite worried that I would not be able to get onto anything, but alas, all is good and I found my wallet as well um, forced to drink more of this uh, dirty dirty water um, but it's fine I'm used to murky water uh, oil tilt and that um, because I am a backpacker on a gap yard
lounge done, it's time to board. This is it, leaving Australia for the last time. Um, I managed to get quite a bit of work done, not that I have a job right now, but like tasks, like backing up files, downloading music, etc. and some films for the journey, but um, yeah, it's starting to feel very real now that this is it. Just on a, a circle of the uh, departure gates for good measure. Turns out it's 36, not 63. Uh, two very different numbers. Um, well, the same two numbers. They just produce quite a different number when they're rearranged differently. So I'm going to go and look for the right gate now. Um, haven't said where I'm off to. Off to Kota Kinabalu in Malaysia. Um, this is the first of two flights. I fly from Sydney to Hong Kong. Um, I'm in Hong Kong for about three hours and then I am trying a new airline called Air Asia for another reason then they were cheap uh, this looks quite an experience not really sure how it's going to work but I have to collect my bags when I get to Hong Kong and then check in again so I have three and a half hours so I'm not worried about the time it's just the queue that's already starting to bother me Archers, that's a bit of plane. One of Airbus's 330s, a, a real classic time machine that will take me all the way to Hong Kong. Uh, there is no Wi Fi on board. Uh, I have to admit, I have been spoiled flying the likes of Qatar Emirates and even Qantas here who, who give you Wi Fi by default, so you do come to expect it. On board, um, slumming it here in economy. Um, you know, got to keep it real being a backpacker on a gap yard. Um, promised I would call David too as soon as I got on board, so I will call him now. Uh, I, I see there's some more of this manky water going around, the fizzy type, so I shall, shall indulge if offered one. I mean, very important to stay hydrated when you're backpacking and on a gap yard, so uh, yeah, glad they are. Glad they brought around some fizzy water. Also, also got my menu card. The menu. Uh, it's quite quite the brochure. It's done in like a broadsheet newspaper format. So I shall peruse this. I see some gravel axe and salmon. Um, I mean, I was hoping for beans and bread, but um, if that's all there is, I'll have it. This is it, the Australian chapter is firmly over. We are about to take off. This is it, thank you Australia, it's been great. One words. That was a complete breeze. I think 15 minutes end to end, I absolutely sprinted off that plane. And now at the belt of the baggage. However, the bags are nowhere to be seen. Easy. In the lounge at Hong Kong's Terminal 2, all showered. Of course, had a bit more food because it was free, and uh, the meals on the plane obviously weren't enough. One hour till boarding Air Asia. Um, managed to push my way to the front of the queue, which was a great success, but like an hour's walking to get from land side back to air, so it's a bit of a faff. Uh, a bit nervous about this Air Asia and how cramped it's going to be. Boarding the plane now to Kota Kinabalu in Malaysia, first on, I think, so great success. On board, naturally, more leg room than I thought, so I'm quite happy with that.
balloon and I am done flying today. Ordered a grab from the airport. Bit, uh, bit chaotic leaving the airport as they make you scan your bags and people travel with a lot of stuff here. Uh, hoping it, it's a seamless experience to find this grab guy. Six oh three. First hostel of the trip. Very tired. It's now half twelve here, which means at half three in Sydney. And I got up at half four this morning, so I've been up twenty three hours. Oh, nice big room. Oh wow. I hope all of the backpackers are like this. I have a free upgrade to a one bedroom suite, a small bathroom, somewhere I can eat fruit. Uh, wow, this room is massive. Uh, somewhere to hang my, my shirts and whatnot. And then a bedroom. There must be a, oh yeah, big TV. Maybe there is some Malay classic film on. Oh, and a really big tut as well. Uh, yeah, very happy with the Hilton Hostel in Kota, Kinabalu. Right, well that concludes a very long day of travel. I'm absolutely knackered. I am off to bed. Um, orangutan trip got cancelled tomorrow. Um, because it's not actually from Kota Kinabalu, so I shall find something else to do in the morning. Mm -hmm.